Turns out this video has to be in two parts again, so my iPad will not let me record any further. So as I was saying, this is a fun ladder, which is really expensive. It was £10 from Pets at Home again, so this is most of the things I'm going to show you. I'm going to be from Pets at Home. £10, I just purchased this today. Comes with like a rope, two toys on like a little lacy sort of thing, and then a rope with some linked ropes with some chew toys on. Just thought that was quite good. But um here's an idea for you if you think you might want one. What you can do is purchase a a bird ladder on its own. Um and use some hooks to hook onto the side each side of them on each four corners. Some chains and then hook on some chew toys yourself be a lot cheaper. I just thought that when we got home. But yeah. What's Fudge knocking over his food bowl? And yeah, they've got their extra, extra, extra large rat Sputnik. You can't actually get this size in stores. I ordered this online and um, you could choose the colours that you wanted. It was £14.99, which is quite expensive, but it's the size that rats really need, to be honest. They've still got their silent spinner. If I can remember where I got that from, I'll try and let you know in the description. Still got their silent spinner, which is full of poo, which I cleaned this morning. And they're just filthy ratings. And this was very, very expensive. It's a 12 inch, which is the size that wraps sh should have. It was £27, which is very, well, £27.99, which is very expensive. I think I got ripped off. Here I just got a bird toy with a little bell on the end of it. It's got loads of chews on it. It looks a little, bit, a little bit like a tree kebab, but it's on a chain instead. So yeah, that's it. If you've got rats, I recommend buying lots of bird toys for them. Well, not, I'm not saying you can go out and buy a load, but I recommend getting them bird toys. Because they're really, really ideal for rats, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, that one, that bird toy was £3. It wasn't too bad, I don't think. The price. Okay. Rossies. Here is their Jollies stick bridge, which was one pound fifty, I think, in the sale. I think it was. And then here they've got their mucky chinchilla block, <laughs> which you grub it up because you're stinky rossies. Latte, little baby. Um, latte Oreo. Uh, yeah, uh, this was £8, which is quite expensive. And again, that's from Pets at Home. Don't be worried about purchasing any wood sort of things, because you can always sand it to get off all the filth in their wee. Here's a loofah block, as I said, from the Woodlands Range Pack. Inside babies. And then here they've got like a little... I don't know what you call it. Like a little stick ball sort of thing, which dangles all the way up here. <laughs> So yeah, that's quite cool. It's the first thing they went to explore. Then down there they've got their food bowl with their pets at home, rat, um, not rat nuggets. They've actually got Weetabix in there, which I really like, so I recommend giving your ratties them. Down here they've got their water bowl by the classic range, which I was telling you. That's what the logo looks like for her seesaw. So here... here. They've got their litter tray, which needs cleaning, although I only cleaned it this morning. Um, they've got the old seesaw bridge, which is only £1.50 from um, Pet City in Bradford area. And they've got a new munch bowl, just at the back of there. Latte! Oh baby, come here. Um, oh, just Oreo to come down. I'm going to put them in the top again, so I can really show you this bowl really quickly. So they can't disturb us. You coming, Aye? 
I'm really sorry about this. That is it. Aww. Aww, baby. He squeaks a lot. You don't actually hurt him, but he always squeaks. And look at all these filthy wee on his belly. It's not very nice. They're due for a bath again. Here is their munch bowl, which has got some oh, leafy greens in. Oh, there's biscuit. Oh, Mister, she did a demonstration. Some leafy greens in, and then their nuggets. And it just says munch on it. This is two pound fifty from Pets at Home. Which I've got. They've got their corn. It did initially look full of dried corn, but if you've got rats, I definitely recommend these. They come with like a little clip. At the moment in pets at home they've got an offer. They come in a pack of two for two pounds and it's bound to get on free. So you basically get four for two pounds, so basically fifty P each, which is really good. And really cheap. So I really recommend that. Ratties. Ratties. And just back there, I don't know if you can see. Probably can't. Oh, I'm trying to get there. Ah, here we go. A treat ball. Which, uh, I'll see if I can show you with just one hand. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, we have an escapee. There we go. Oh, ah, choo -choo. It sort of like shuts. See if I can show you. Slides. To use diff different difficulties. I have a, another escaping rat. You're going. Going at it. Shut this door before any of you actually do escape. Because that would not be very nice. So that's their updated cage tour. Bikini needs to go back on there. As I said, um, Fudge is not in here all the time. Well, he's never in here anymore. As this cage is way too small for him. <laughs> Stretch. Um, he is actually in a seven by four, seven foot by four foot hutch now. Um, so yeah, don't comment on that. His cage is too small because just for the purpose of this video, I've just punked him in here. So he's scent marking everything, <laughs> as you can see. So here he's got his giant chew tube. He's got his litter tray, which should be in that corner over there. He's got his salt lick, which is a very, which is an essential for rabbits and guinea pigs. Um, the, he's got his Jolly's food bowl. Uh, that litter tray was seven pounds, same as the one that the rats had in their cage. The salt lick came with a pack of two, but it only came with one of them, sort of like attaching things. But I've also got a pack of five from the bird section in Pet Pets at Home. So yeah, he's got his hay rack, which actually comes with the Z-Zone 2 cage. So yeah, that's in there for now. He's got a new water bowl. Water bowl. I just got a hamster bowl, because look at that. He's so filthy. <laughs> he's a filthy bunny. Because he likes, when, when you get him fresh water, he, he wants you to squeeze it. Oh, he's going to be in a demonstration. Would you move your ear? There we go. He likes to wet his lips and he's always licking his lips. So you think his lips might be dry. Pudgy Wudge. Get down, baby. And he waits for you to squeeze this out on the floor for him so he can slip it up. Here he's got his bunny, which is completely stained of wee wee. Because he's always dumping it in his litter tray and flicking it around. <laughs> so yeah. He's got um, a willow stick here good for him because I've got a pack of like 20 some of them are just there you might see him peeping out a bit don't you jump out mister he's got a toilet a kitchen roll tube he also we have loads down there just at the back there a tug and gnaw and a loofah we don't put anything on the bottom of his hutch purely because he gets sniffles from everything <laughs> and then he's bottle there. So yeah. Oh, messy bedroom. And here are the pigs. Oh, I forgot to say that they have baby rings in the rat cage just over there. Just like the pigs do on here. 
tomorrow I'll be doing a storage. Oh, show you his carrot thing. You've put treats that come with it in there. And then his little football hanging thing. <laughs> Um, I'll be doing a storage thing tomorrow as well as um, what are I going to do? <sighs> ah. Oh, and um, a Barden Breakers video. Toys and things. They've got baby rings here, just from Poundland. They've got their salt lick. I just hooked it onto a baby ring for the moment, as you can see they're nibbled. Just there. They've got their dried corn which is quite good for them don't think that replaces their please don't ever think that that replaces their um, vegetables as a daily allowance because it does not it's just there as a treat and they've got 